I know that it is one of five men. All I want from you is one code name. Thomas, what made you want to make a film of Tinker Tailor Soldier for the Spy? I think it was the complexity of the source material that was sort of intriguing me and it was like a huge crossword and some crosswords want, want, want to be solved. Were you conscious of the TV version because yeah. everybody's seen the TV version with yeah. Alec Guinness? Yeah. So had you watched that, did you watch that when you were writing the screenplay or did you decide not to watch we it? We watched it once before we started working on the screenplay just to kind of get it out of the way. But it was nice actually, it felt like quite a positive experience. We were worried it was going to kind of be um, too scary, but it sort of felt inspiring. You know, it's such, a, such a great adaptation, so it set the bar high. So. One of the things about the movie is that it's a fantastic recreation of Britain in the 1970s. You seem to understand British culture and yet you come from outside it. Maybe it, it, it's a good thing to be a foreigner to to see certain details in, in a different country, mm. yeah. And Peter, what were the qualities of the book that you wanted to bring out? What were the things that you absolutely were determined to keep? I think for Bridget and I, kind of focusing on the human relationships and the human cost of the war, that's what we mm. wanted it to, to feel it was about. And how much was John Le Carre involved in helping you? He was very good, he, he said, you know, I, I won't call you, I won't, I won't uh, intrude but if you need me I'm here call me anytime you want and we did. If you were to send a, a message how would you do exactly and he could you know tell you what, exactly how to do what it. What colour ink would control have he knew right, what yeah, colour ink would control have all, right. all those details you know it's a fantastic resource we, we met him a few times and we'd have we'd have dinner together and he'd tell us anecdotes about MI5 and MI6 and some of those stories ended up getting into the film. Were you conscious of making a Tinker Tailor Soldier Spike for a new audience and a new age? I don't think so you just try to be as concentrated and uh, generous as possible and then hopefully people uh, will understand it and appreciate it. Tinker. Taylor. Soldier. Soldier.